Hi guys, Max Walker Williams here, and today we're doing something a bit different. Thanks to Reese at Marshmallow Marketing, I'm screen sharing. I've been taught how to do this, and I'm going to show you how to buy HBAR um, by Hedra Hashgraph. If you want to know why I think you should buy that, click the video in the uh, link in the description below. But for now, I'm going to be showing you how to buy it. Uh, there are different ways to buy it. This is the best and cheapest and easiest way that I found. But if you do know of a better way, a cheaper way, please do leave a comment below and let me know. I'll have a look at that. Uh, so you're going to need two things. You're going to need an Atomic Wallet. Uh, if you're doing this on PC, then just go to uh, Google, type in Atomic Wallet, uh, ta Atomic Wallet, and then it downloads um, off their website, just like just like an app. So you just go download there and uh, it downloads. If you're doing this on iPhone or an Android or whatever, then just go to your app store and search Atomic Wallet. It's completely free. Download it and then you get this app. Uh, assuming you haven't got an Atomic Wallet, you're going to have to create one. It's dead easy. You literally just need to put a password in and then confirm the password. So create wallet. Now it's, it's given me this warning because I've already set one up as I was just practicing before I created this video, but you'll see a screen like this, Atomic Wallet Password. You just put your password in, create, um, I'm just doing capital P password, but uh, you create one that's nice and secure, set password, and you'll see the blue bar loading up quickly, and that's creating the wallet for you, and it's literally as simple as that. So once this is finished loading, you'll have your Atomic Wallet. First thing, once it's loaded, it's going to show you your 12 secure key backup trays. Now, this is really, really important to take note. Um, it's 12 random words. Nobody, including Atomic, know what they are. So you're the only person in the world who will know what these are. In this case, it's Lock, Eagle, Flame, Tribe, Guard. There's a space between each one. Write them down, pen and paper, old school, and put that piece of paper somewhere very, very safe. Um, just so you know, a lot of people aren't aware of this. It's really, really dangerous. If you download the Atomic app, or any other wallet app on your mobile phone, and you don't write down the 12 key backup phrase, and then you break your phone, drop it down the toilet, it gets stolen, lose it, whatever. You then think you're safe because you can back up from iCloud. It's not the case. This atomic wallet that you're downloading and putting uh, cryptocurrency onto is only for that phone. The only way, if you drop your phone down the toilet and you get a brand new phone, you back up to iCloud, Atomic will not recognize you. The only way to back up and get your crypto back is using these 12 words. So write them down. You can Google it. There's a story about a guy who lost three million pounds worth of uh, um, Bitcoin. He had his phone stolen or he lost it on a night out. He didn't write down the 12 words. That was it. Sorry, no one can help you. So once you've got those 12 words written down, open the wallet. If you skip that by mistake, don't worry, all is not lost. You just go to settings in Atomic Wallet and then you'll see private keys. Click on private keys. Put in your password, which in this case is password. Show private keys, and along the top there, you've got them again. Atomic wallets, so there they are lock, eagle, flame, tribe, card, live, etc. So back to wallet. Once you've got your 12 keys, written, right, 12 words written down, put them somewhere safe. You go down the list, it's got all the cryptos here, all the main cryptos. It tells you the current price, whether they're up or down for the day. Go down to Hedra Hashgraph. Um, I can actually search it, which will be quicker. H bar and there's Hedra. Click on it. You can see the balance is zero. I've got nothing in here and how much it's worth in dollars. You can change in settings. You can change whether it shows in dollars or pound sterling or whatever you prefer. Click receive. Activate your account. Now it's activating your account. There's literally nothing to do except click activate account. Once it's activated, it'll say activation is successful. Click back and there's your address. So some of the addresses, I don't know if, you've, if you're familiar with any other cryptos, but some of the addresses are crazy. They're like pages and pages long. Hedra, really efficient as always. It's just a really simple digit number. So in this case, it's 0.0.113563. Now you can click on the number itself and it copies it to clipboard, or you can click the word copy. So you now got a Hedra wallet in Atomic Wallet. Um, you now need to send some money to it, some, some sorry, some crypto to it. Jump back on the internet. And then you go to MoonPay. There are other places that sell HBAR, um, like Changely, but I found that Changely literally just buy the crypto from MoonPay and put a put a drink on it for them. So they charge you a little commission for doing it. So why not just go direct to the source? So you can work out here how much you can get. So for example, if you go down to HBAR, head of Hashgraph, type in 200 pounds worth, click buy now. Enter your HBAR wallet, which we know is, that's one from I tried before, we know is 
this one, copy that, shut that, paste it here, and there it is. Tag is for your reference if you wanted to put um, for mum or, or whatever, if you're buying it for somebody else. You don't have to put a reference if you don't want to. There's my, my bank details, my security code. Uh, you put the security code in, and then once you've done that, you click buy now. You click, I agree, to move, move pig, uh, moon page terms and conditions. And you said moon pig then, which is a card sales people, uh, and click buy now. Um, it will then send it, it will say confirming transaction, and it will send that uh, feature bar that you purchased over to your Atomic Wallet. Um, another sort of tip, if you're going to be buying a lot, the, the maximum transaction per day with MoonPay is £9,000, which is more than enough for most. Um, so if I go back, I can go and show you, click this, put 9000 on one quid. The maximum transaction amount is £9,000, you can see that there. So um, if you're going to do a large amount, or if you can do any amount, in fact, I think the minimum is 20 quid. I would do 20 first and just see if that lands. It does tell you here in your summary that 20 pounds will buy you 280.2 H-bar at 0.071 pence. And this number, this 280 here, will change if you sit here and do nothing. Uh, it locks the price in. When you click buy now, you've got about two minutes to complete the transaction. It locks the price in for you. If you leave it, this number, you'll see this number will change. Do a small amount first, make sure that the crypto gets to your wallet if you're doing it for the first time. It, don't get nervous. It can, especially for a first time transaction, it can take up to an hour, maybe even a little bit longer. If you have any problems, feel free to leave a comment and I'll come back to you below. Um, once you click buy now, send over a small amount. Once you know that lands in your wallet, you can do the larger amount that you want to do. So for example, 9,000 quid, then you can send that over. Once you know it works, 9,000 pounds will buy you 126,050.4 H bar at the moment. And that's it. Once you've sent it over to your wallet, you've got it. Um, and then once you're in Atomic, you can keep an eye on it and it'll tell you how you're doing in terms of value. So you go back to your wallet um, and it'll tell you here the balance and, and how much, um, how much, if I go back to the wallet, there you, it'll tell you the price. If you click on it, obviously you'll have an amount in here and it'll tell you whether or not you're up or down. Um, it'll tell you transaction history. And then you can track to see how well you're doing. As you can see, Bitcoin's quite a quite a ways down at the moment. And then if you go all time, you can see how much it is up over its historic price. And that's it, guys. You then have HBAR sat in your HBAR wallet. I can't emphasize enough. Make sure that you get your private keys written down. Um, because if you lose your wallet, lose your phone, whatever, um, it's gone forever. And that there is my, my key in this wallet. And that's it. If you've got any questions, comments, please leave them below. I hope that's been really helpful. Uh, if there's anything that isn't clear, leave a comment below and I will come back to you answering questions. And also, as always, please uh, give us a like. And if you want to know why I think you should buy HBAR, once again, check the link in the description below. And it's all there for you. Cheers.